just uh, uh, mentioning developer because there are a few questions which I already received whether we should be coming from a technical background or not. So yes, I do come from a technical background. I started product management basically from 2007. I was working on a site called as a yellowpages.co.in, the Yellow Pages tech book. I'm sure you must be knowing about it. So I was basically responsible for taking it online. I did that uh, for almost for uh, four years. Then uh, I moved to the automobile sector. I, okay, basically I'm an automobile guy. So I worked with Carvalli where I founded a portal called the bikevalley.com. Uh, then further I moved into the Times Group where I headed the portal zigwheels.com, which happens to be India's number one automobile portal. And then I moved to the uh, Argus, which is into kind of an e-commerce industry. That is what uh, you can see. Talking about uh, Avivas, we are uh, Avivas basically started into 2007 2008. We are multiple businesses of Avivas. Uh, one is providing services to the RTCs, uh, say, the way in the, for the Maharashtrian people, there is a MSRTC. Likewise, in Telangana, there is a TSRTC. In Andhra, there is a APSRTC. Then KSRTC. Uh, so, there are different, different RCD, RTCs as per the states. What we at Avivas do is, we provide them the booking engine. In a simple language, we manage there all the sites where people can come and they can book the bus ticket. That's our one line of business. Now we have our own flagship portal called the avivas.com where people can come, they can book the bus tickets across the India. We have more than uh, 300 plus operators who are directly associated with us. We provide uh, tickets over a uh, lakh routes in India. And uh, we do approximately 30 to 40,000 uh, tickets per day. Uh, that is what uh, we primarily do. We are available on all the platforms. We are very strong into the uh, South Market. Uh, yes, the Red Bus is our direct competition. That's about the primary business of Avivas. We recently ventured into the uh, hotels also. We also sell uh, the hotel rooms uh, on Avivas.com, considering the TG, uh, the target audience was coming on the Avivas. Is the same. The person who would like to travel, they will obviously like to stay also. So that was the thought process behind that thing. Then we also have one more food, uh, product called the rentals, wherein uh, people can book the entire bus on the digital platform. As of now, this market is uh, totally uh, unorganized. Uh, if one has to book the bus, that means he has to rent plus hire the bus. He has to go to the multiple uh, vendors, get the codes. All that process we are trying to take it off and you just come on the portal, give you a to and from request. We'll identify the distance. There will be uh, always a product associated with us and we will try to give you the exact code there and there itself. That is what is uh, that product about. And we also recently ventured into the trench ticket also, considering again the TG is uh, the same. So basically trying to encash uh, on the way uh, strategy of the upselling and cross selling. So yeah, that is what uh, we do uh, on the Android app, uh, we have more than 5 million downloads. Uh, we have 4.4 star uh, plus rating. On the iOS, again, 4.5 star rating out of the five, out of uh, in both the businesses. Uh, yes, that is what uh, about thing. Now, I think I should open this forum to ask a question in case if you guys any have. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Jitendra. Hi. Can you hear me properly? Like, I don't know, I'm sitting in the right place. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, I'll, I'll just, I'll just brief a little about me and then I'll just put up a question I have. So, yeah. basically, I come from a startup background. I had my own startup, uh, been once venturing on it for four years now. And uh, being a technical co-founder, I needed to take care of it. Okay. So awesome. yeah, uh, I'm going into another startup, like <laughs> had a few ideas on it, uh, going on one another startup. Uh, my question to you uh, would be very simple. Uh, how do you, how do you, uh, when is the time do you think that uh, you need to increase your target audience? So in your example, uh, currently mm -hmm. in Abibus, when you started, you, you were targeting the train tickets, uh, sorry, the bus tickets. Uh, right. Then you started uh, targeting the hotels. Uh, right. I'm, if I'm not wrong, right. And then yeah. afterwards, you started targeting uh, the the uh, train tickets as well. Right. So how do how do you take that decision that you you can go on with the the different of you know the target audience, but you go into the uh, process of of completing that cycle. I I can I, understand you're trying to complete the cycle of that. I I got it. I got it. 
Uh, yeah, some bugger. Somebody can please uh, mute the mic, please. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Can somebody mute the mic, please? Yeah. So yeah, thanks for asking the question. Uh, fair enough. So basically, I would like to answer this question in two different ways. Uh, one is the uh, yes. How did we uh, decided to go into the trains? Before that, let's take a step back and let's understand about Abhivas. Now, Abhivas basically, as I mentioned, we are very strong in the south. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we hold approximately 75 plus uh, percent market uh, share into the south. Uh, as everybody knows, for the other states. Uh, red bus is the one uh, who was actually leading the market in the other three sections now we had two goals either a go ahead and uh, put a lot of money uh, as everybody knows in india majorly people run behind the discounts and the e-commerce battle can be won so we had two options either go into the different different uh, zones like east north and the west pumping a lot of money and get more research that was the one of the option that is what we had but unfortunately uh, there are already a huge competition paytm is already there redbus is already there mmt that is a mac metric is already there so we need to put a insane amount of money so which may not be a practical at this point of time so we thought hey now we are very strong we have a loyal user base just to give you some numbers my 70% audience is a repeat uh, user i would say so yes people are coming to us uh, for the repeat uh, transactions which contributes to my 70% sales every day that is one now there are uh, major number of or major chances of a user who normally don't apply discounts also i won't be in a position to reveal that number but yes we do give a regular uh, discounts but user don't uh, apply the discount that means there is a strong user base who are uh, loyal to us that is the reason we thought hey now what is the other product that we should look at where your overlap uh, would be the same uh considering the average ticket price I'm talking about uh, the uh, average ticket price of a bus let's say for an example for ac it could be 750 rupees and for a non ac bus it could be 550 rupees that's the standard uh, average value if you look at the standard of the average ticket size of the trains also it falls around the same 350 rupees to 550 rupees so we thought hey user base is the same user are coming into us and uh, if user don't get the bus then what is the another mode of transport they prefer so it comes to eventually the train That was the reason we went ahead with the train. Okay. I hope I'm able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, uh, how do uh, I don't know if it is a management question or is it the technical question? But uh, your audience seems to be the same, right? And you are just trying mm-hmm. to complete the process. Exactly, exactly. So now uh, my audience is uh, the same. But yes, I, we completely understand because of train. we may not get uh, maximum or the more number of users i would say but that is the same user who is looking to have a transport option from a to b and if not bus then what's the natural uh, thought process which comes into the indian uh, audience or the indian user obviously we'll go with the train considering it is considered as one of the cheapest option in india so that was the thought process right. behind going uh, behind the train so if you look at the uh, this factor also that was also minimal because if you had to consider the first option we can go into the different uh, zones east west south uh, pump in lot of money again use cut cut competition when you already have a loyal base so why not uh, give them a better service and and cash or take your bank to the next level right 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 i got it yeah. i got it thank you yeah. so much yeah thanks um hi my name is raghunath i have a question uh, whenever you are talking about a new product yeah uh, assuming you are launching a new product or you are at a seed stage of the idea um what how do you gauge the market size and uh, what is a good estimation about uh, you know uh, i mean in, whenever you get, getting into a new market uh, what factors you should consider from a competition perspective uh, to launch a new product okay uh, honestly that's a difficult question that is what you have asked but yes uh, there will be a uh, few areas that you can use uh, like you yourself have mentioned there could be a case that a competition or uh, there could be already a, a similar product uh, could be available in the market so you can take a reference that of that product hey is there any similar kind of a product is already available in the market how it is performing what's the user base how users are taking it that's a one and uh, then accordingly you can calculate if and you can look at the growth also that uh, information is easily available on the net that is one considering you are planning to launch a new product obviously you can do the survey uh, by talking to the people you can uh, run some quiz uh, on the forums or uh, 
Uh, that means you can take the user opinion and you can uh, take a call. That's one. Once you have a fair idea, if my product is going to, uh, this is what is the launch a product which I want to launch, then simply go ahead and uh, start with the MVP. Please don't invest your uh, energy into developing a full fledged product. Just go with the MVP. I mean the minimum viable product. Let's say there could be 100 features. If you consider, hey, these are the seven or eight features which I have to give. Uh, so that people can test that product and they can give their feedback and obviously they will like it. Then go ahead with that and just launch a product. Once you just start using it, uh, you will automatically get to know whether they're liking it or not liking it. But the first uh, three months of the product launch are very critical. I would say first 45 days will be very critical considering data traffic from seventh day, for an example. So in that process only you will get to know whether user are liking it or not liking it. And there are a lot of tools that can uh, you can integrate. Like uh, for an example, uh, Clever Tap is one of the tool. Uh, just to give you an idea, that gives you complete idea, user journey and everything. Uh, based on that, uh, you can take a call. And obviously, you have to run surveys also, some of the feedback, those all the processes, the standard processes that we need to follow. I hope uh, I was able to answer your question. You know, yes, I was deliberately on mute so that I'm avoiding background noise. But yeah, uh, I think that's that's fair. But thank you. Yeah. Anyone? Hello? Yeah. Hi, Jitendra. Uh, so this is Sayak here. So I had one question. So when it comes to uh, tracking or monitoring the key performance uh, KPIs or value metrics, how do you end up uh, prioritizing what are the top KPIs for one particular cycle you're going to be monitoring? And how dynamically you keep on changing the KPIs based on uh, some of your business objectives? Okay, thanks for asking the question, uh, Saik. Uh, so, uh, my answer to this question will be KPIs for every product will differ time to time. So, when you launch a product, your KPI could be, hey, for, uh, that is running through an example. When you launch a product, your KPI would be, hey, are the user coming on uh, to my product? Are they using it? Uh, so, that should be one. It should be uh, the product which you launch, people should like it. More and more number of people, uh, the repeat ratio should increase. For an example, if you have some viral program into it or the loyalty program into it or a referral program into it, or people are using it, that is one. Obviously, when we launch any product, uh, I'm not too sure whether we are considering a completely complete a monetary product or not. So basically, a usage kind of a thing, it is getting used or not, this is the primary one. And uh, then, uh, if you have any monetization plan around in a quick uh, or the early format, uh, or the early phase, then uh, the reports will definitely help you out. Now, there are two ways to track it. Yes, the database simply gives a report what a uh, user is doing. But uh, in that uh, case, uh, only other than case, whether user are liking it or not, I would strongly suggest create a funnel from day one. So you exactly know from here you, where your users are coming. And uh, in case if you are dropping, where are they dropping? So you can focus on the funnel and uh, try to fix those issues if there are any uh, for the better conversion. And uh, like I mentioned, KPIs for every product would be different. For uh, OTT, it could be uh, time users are spending on the uh, app or for the reading the video. In our case, uh, how many repeat users are coming? Uh, how many, uh, in case of Abibas, how many repeat users are coming? How many times they are getting a transaction? So number of users, for an example, doing only one transaction in a one month versus number of users doing more than uh, one transaction in a month. So we have, and Abibas basically, bucket the user in a different one, users doing one transaction a month, two transactions a month, three transactions a month. That way we do and then we keep a close eye on that thing. Our users jumping from uh, their, uh, one bucket to another bucket. So that is what uh, we have to do. So once that is done, then obviously LTV is the one that you also can consider. So you spend this under control uh, and overall financially you're also kind of uh, secure in case uh, if you're running a startup and which is on a tight budget. Yeah, I think uh, I hope I was able to answer your uh, question. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Upshik. Uh, so I have a question. Uh, so basically, you talked about user retention and uh, uh, new users, uh, ac uh, new user acquisition, right? So yeah. my question is, uh, when you uh, when you basically have a marketing campaign. Uh, how do you decide that this much chunk has to be spent on user retention and this much chunk has has to be spent on uh, new user acquisition? Okay, I think uh, I'll answer this question, but I think this question is more 
from the marketing perspective because normally product guys uh, won't take this call how much uh, money should i spend and everything but uh, whatever so i want to tell you yes. where i am coming from uh, yeah. so basically uh, to your previous question you said uh, that uh, uh, b- b- you uh, you were trying to venture out into a different uh, into a different market so uh, obviously there there would be two kinds of user you would be focusing on uh, there would be new users who would be basically booking train tickets and there would be existing users who would be t- booking train train tickets or any other any other business you are trying to venture in so from there uh, basically my question was from you okay uh honestly i wasn't able to collect to your uh, last thing because the trains we recently started talking about my earlier scenario like i mentioned we are very strong in the south uh, west we know like uh, what's our market share and uh, on a monthly basis uh, we keep a close eye at what percentage we are going so yes in other market uh, in the west uh, we were going with 100% that is what i would say 100% with respect to the previous one and uh, delhi which is a north market we are going let's say for example with a 70% that's for the number say but still that number that we are going is that sufficient enough that are we targeting that thing and how much money we are spending on that that is the one so and what's the overall market size that's uh, the information that one need to collect what's the overall market size what is my current share on a mom basis uh, how much i am acquiring the market what's my growth rate what is my spend for that am i having enough cash into my account so i'll be able to burn money now it could be in terms of a discount it could be in terms of a branding a lot of uh, things uh, comes into the play in our case our uh, brand ambassador was mahesh babu who is a south indian superstar not too sure how many people know about it so in the north maybe very few people will know about it mumbai i don't think so anybody knows about it so that's one of the thing do we have a national uh, brand ambassador to whom everybody knows so again the money comes into the picture so that was the thing so uh, how much money do you really have to spend on that market versus you already have a loyal user because you know this user are doing uh, repeat transactions with you you are uh, witnessing the bucket which is increasing users are buying one ticket they are now uh, buying two uh, tickets so that is increasing plus uh, even though there is a discount code coupon code is there that people uh, normally don't use it i mean use it but at a very less percent so your discounts are also very less like we don't believing uh, discount like 43% how other e-commerce companies are doing if it is goes to a single digit also like uh, then uh, we are curious we can hear and there and try to control that thing so if these are the if since these are all the positive signs are there when you know like you are not giving any much of the discount to the user and everything but still users are doing it that means they are happy with the product so that is why we thought hey let's go ahead and uh, venture into this side wherein by giving the extra service to the user because the a user base user base is the same and their need is the same considering average ticket value user and everything is the same that is what uh, the key decision uh, key point to take the decision okay yeah thanks that answers yeah. my question yeah yeah hi jitendra this is subramanya here hi subramanya tell me see i have one question with regard to i mean which i want to discuss with you see how you, how you will take in, take the innovations in the product new innovations uh, in the product okay. and how you will uh, conceptualize uh, these things okay so now honestly your uh, question is uh, very wide i'm not too sure with what context you're talking about the innovation so i would like to answer this question in a two different way one is the a essential thing uh, uh essential innovation and another is that good to have innovation so we have done both okay. the things at abibas uh, we have done both the things at abibas so essential is a we about a year and a half back we launched a service called as a abibas prime now abibas prime is a, a kind of a program which will uh, help us to retain users at our end so what we do is we have created a package uh, which we sell at 199 rupees in that 199 rupees if user is subscribed to that package then uh, every time you book the bus ticket uh, we are giving you insurance free now in a single transaction you can book six tickets so in a six tickets that equal to six into six we are giving you a 36 insurance free each insurance actually cost you 10 bucks that's one every month we will allow you to cancel your ticket uh, two times we will give you full refund no questions asked and third uh, you will we will be given a priority support at the call center so you will skip the normal queue and you will go in so now overall idea of this uh, product 
slash uh, innovation was to retain the customer. Just uh, look at the thought process and that. Now, if user is paying me 119 rupees and if I'm going to give him these many facilities, obviously user won't go to a different product. How the other guys are doing? There's one more way, for an example, what everybody does in the industry is people say, hey, 100% cash back. But is it, we being product guys, we know what is 100% cash back. Cash back is the actual virtual money that we as a product company is offered to the user just to uh, have that user stick to our app for the next transaction. And what maximum we give, let's say for an example, 5% of your base ticket value cap to something. Let's say in our case, if it is an RTC ticket, then it could be a 25 rupees. If it is a, a non-RTC ticket, that is a private bus ticket, then cap to 50 rupees. But when you promote it, you say, hey, you book a ticket and you get a 100% cash back. So even though user gets a 650, if you book a, book a ticket of a 650 rupees, you will give him 650 Abhi cash, which is a virtual cash in his account. But next time for a transaction, while doing a transaction, you will allow him to only spend 25 rupees. So what has happened, it's a gamification. That is what you have done. So that was another innovation, what everybody has done. So even we have done it. I just give you an example. So again, this is up to the organization. That is a one uh, prime, as I said, yes, user is giving us 119 rupees. So we are locking him for a year because at the back of the mind, he know, hey, I paid 199, so I'm going to get these many facilities. Now the calculation that we only know, why we are giving uh, 119 rupees, the, uh, the product at 119 rupees, that's one. The second, why only uh, two tickets cancellation per month? Because there is a uh, long calculation behind it, uh, whether we can afford it or not afford it. That's about the essential or the critical innovation, that is what I would say. Now talking about the good to have innovation is something like we have recently uh, launched games on our app. So if you consider our business, we are basically a need-based app. People won't just keep our app like uh, people might be keeping Flipkart or Amazon, hey, I have a time to spend. Let me go on Amazon and let me identify, hey, is there any new phone which is coming in? So people spend hours and hours, but that is not case with the travel base app. If there is a need, then and then and the people will come. Uh, again, now there is no issue with the phone capacity and everything, uh, but still there are a lot of people who uninstall app on a daily basis. So how to retain them? Because again, making them download is again, as everybody knows, it will cost you anywhere from 50 rupees to 150 rupees to acquire one user. Uh, I'm just giving you the market uh, statistics. So how to keep him retained? So what we can do is we recently launched a game, HTML5, simple HTML5 based game, uh, which are very really interactive. So people can come and they can uh, play the games. And since it's HTML5 games, even if the user doesn't have internet, yes, he can play the game. Uh, so that way, this is one of the innovations. That's the one innovation. They are actually working on the another innovation also, where user will be able to spend the cash also to play the games and in return of that, he will get something. So it's too early for me to reveal it, but exciting product is coming. So these entire efforts are going just to keep a user locked to the, our platform or our ecosystem. So that, uh, that is why the innovations are required. And these innovations are now, another question, how did we reach to this innovation? So every day we are uh, having our KPIs, we understand uh, what are the user problems. And based on that, we come out uh, with a different, different ideas. Uh, and then we test it. And uh, based on that, uh, we just uh, roll out uh, the product. Uh, before that, sometimes we also do the surveys also with the user. Uh, there are a few apps uh, who allow you to do that thing on a specific TG and everything. So for an example, I know, just for an example, let's say uh, Monday is the one at two uh, in the afternoon, I don't get the maximum sales. At that time I can afford to run a survey. So we find such a lean uh, spot and then we run the survey. And based on that, we also take a user feedback and uh, take the concrete decisions. I hope I was able to answer your uh, question. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Because see, you are uh, talking from the retention of uh, customers, and again, I hope we need to consider from the concept of retaining the customers, and again, again we need to conceptualize uh, these thoughts. Exactly, exactly. Because as everybody knows, like retaining customer uh, is a great thing. Because again, you have to get a new customer, you have to give them a complete experience. Again, for an example, if you go to any site, there will be always a new user coupon code that will be always there on most of the sites. So that new user coupon code, if you look at that value, that value is very high. So ultimately what you're doing is you're spending a, acquiring a customer uh, from somewhere, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you guys are running the campaign. If you're uh, getting to a referral, the values will be high. <coughs> Sorry, if you're uh, asking to download uh, the app, again, it's high. When it comes to platform, on the top of it, you're giving him one more discount. Let's say for an example, flat 100 rupees off, flat 250 rupees off. So now my simple question, uh, do you guys think in the first transaction, is any e-commerce company earned from the user? The question, uh, that's the question. And the answer, 
in a 90% would be no in the first transaction normally companies don't earn anything from the user so it's a long term game so it's always better you acquire the user and uh, retain them for a long time so your ltv is uh, always higher that is what uh, normal uh, e-commerce company look in the digital world my name is raghunath and my question to you the last response was uh, it's about what you mentioned for e-commerce companies it's a, the game is about retaining the customers on the duration but yeah, how yeah, long yeah. we actually how long we retain the customer and do we have a mathematics that tells us that this is a, going to be a break even point uh, so that uh, we can actually gauge that we are progressing on the right uh, path and this is essentially links back to one of the question that uh, about a key kpi for a, a good product got it got it okay got it so thanks for asking the question again yeah i remember your question what you asked five minutes ago also uh, so basically most of the companies in india are running i believe on the funding only the major problem is that if the funding stops you're gone the startup is gone so we so we at the river strongly believe that we should run uh, without much of the funding that is the reason we haven't raised most of the funding yet that's one talking about uh, the thing yes we do believe into discounting but that's a market uh, thing as i also give but like i mentioned it's a very uh, small number so we don't have to worry about so we always strive uh, hard to be into that uh, number, around that number only that's what talking about the your other question how do you measure uh, the success of a product or the user retention so as i mentioned every day we look at the transactions which are happening how many transactions are done by the new users how many are done by users uh, users what's the ratio are we maintaining the better uh, ratio for the repeat user transactions that's one and we closely uh, we have created a very uh, bucket and we we closely monitor uh, the users who are doing one transaction two transaction and on an average we know in india why people travel so basically people travel for a from let's say the people are staying in a different city so they go from a to b that's one that for the medical thing uh, medical facilities people do travel they travel for some family functions and everything so on an average how many uh, times a standard user will or normal user will travel so we have figured about that number uh, we that's that's our number that we refer to then we also created few buckets uh, user traveling one time two time three time up to six time and plus uh, that is what uh, we have created and uh, we take a note of or we look at those reports on a daily basis and then we track whether we are on the right track or not that's more around the data analytics that you spoke my question is from a break even perspective how do okay. we okay got it got it so from a break even perspective you already uh, for example if i have to give you example of a train um, we already know how much money we have invested with the irctc in getting the license again on the top of it there will be few conditions that you can promote you cannot promote you cannot give offer so after uh, doing the entire calculation you know like these many users should do a transaction with me on a daily basis so maybe after x number of days i will be able to uh, come on a break even point so that's a normal uh, standard uh, uh, calculation we do at again then uh, we work very hard to get users on our platform and uh, make the flow so simple that when the user is there into the funnel uh, we try to uh, ensure that he is completing the funnel and uh, then uh, in that case uh, if you look at the also we have started giving the zero pay uh, pg charges you know that's one of the innovation that is what we bought it because that was a need of the hour so these small small innovations we keep bringing to uh, convert the users once he falls into the bucket and then we try to reach the number which will help us uh, to go to the break even point yeah i think that is the answer from mine thanks sandra yeah anyone while uh, you guys ask the question couple of things would like to say hey guys keep uh, please keep a close uh, eyes uh, to the entire uh, analytics of the site uh, look at the user base uh, which browser they are using from which place they are coming what are your uh, in our case what are the top routes uh, are any new top routes are getting added uh, what's my daily uh, ticket size in terms of that's a number like 650 bucks 850 bucks how many tickets uh, should i sell every day who's my customer how many transaction is doing what's their age size so in our case it could be let's say for an example 
my 18 to 25 uh, age group is a maximum one then the 25 to 35 is a second largest one so whatever the features there i have to launch i have to consider these user base first then what's a um, male female that's a gender ratio then there are a lot of parameters that we need to look at uh, the site on a daily basis and then you need to come up with the innovation around it that was one of the key uh, thing uh, that is what uh, we considered while launching the games also so these are the small small things that we need to look at daily basis which indirectly helps us in a longer run the funnel optimization is one of the important thing understanding our user base is the most important thing uh, if you have good hands on that thing i think uh, there should not be any issue uh, when you think of a new product or new innovation and uh, taking it to the success level because you actually know your user if you know your user you can do wonders you know what uh, user wants for example now one of the thing uh, hey including uh music in our app will help us or not that's one of the key question that anybody can ask so that's a thing then again we have to go back we have to understand your user uh what's the internet connectivity in india uh what's the average traveling time in india why will uh, take a, people take a bus which area do they take a bus in that area does the network connectivity is there or not does india has got a that much strong infrastructure or not if not then is there any possibility that you can allow user to the play the music even if there is no internet connection so these all uh, parameters that one has to consider before uh, thinking of any innovation or feature in the product so once your base is clear you know this is my base this is what my uh, user is looking for uh, please go ahead uh, conceptualize the product uh, completely start with mvp test the water uh, obviously uh, please keep the analytics in place so you know like uh, which feature is getting used which is not getting used that will uh, also help you to take the right decision at the right point of time and uh, funnel is the one that is what everybody should focus to get the better roi if you can do this thing then fantastic don't uh, think too much about the ui ux uh, with my understanding that is one of the important thing but that is not care of the product guy we have got your ux team for that product team should focus only on understanding user in detail you have needs in detail and a proper flow which will allow user to do the desired thing in a minimum time slash clicks that is what we need to focus on uh while content the ui ux is important yes but there are different teams and different experts are there let them do that job obviously we as a product manager first whenever we think of anything we start uh, with a wireframe so once your thought is there on the wireframe you are clear hey this is the place where i need this xyz widget maybe uh, somebody can think of hey now i'm this do this is for 10 years let me take a help of a ai ml and let me give option to the user uh, the personal is option to the user let's say for an example specific user book a specific uh, journey on a regular basis let's say every saturday you are traveling from bangalore to hyderabad and your booking pattern is you booked uh, two days ago for an example and you book a specific let's say jabbar travel ac 9 pm second that is c to a go to that level identify that thing if possible if your budget allows uh, do all your uh, best ai ml practice find out the what the user uh, buying of the purchasing pattern is send them a personalized push notification at the right time now these everything can be derived by looking at the user behavior which is already there in your database once you have a complete hold on it i think uh, that is uh, you cannot uh, you should not look back i think uh, you will be succeed uh, in the product which ever you guys are in major product are getting failed because user normally don't understand uh, we as a product understand don't guy uh, we as a product guys don't understand what is my user and what does they want and we try to run behind the, the complete full fledged list but uh, that takes long time it might uh, management might lose the faith uh, faith into the product and everything lot of uh, scenarios so don't go behind perfection just start with the mvp uh understand user taste the water and start progressing that is the right way to proceed uh, in a product management i think uh that's from my end uh, any other questions the last couple of questions in case if you want to ask does anyone have any other questions 
I think I touched uh, most of the things right from conceptualization, how to think, what to do, wire framing. Uh, I did not specifically. I did not spoke about any technology out here, but uh, in case you want to anybody from a tech background or something like that, uh, they can think of a technology also. Should I go for a flutter or not? That's one of the key question what people keeps me asking every day and day out. So in case if you guys have a time and a little bend uh, towards the tech. Please understand uh, the take a bit. Uh, can somebody mute the mic, please? Yeah. So please understand the take a little bit in case it's a take. Uh, bend to the take, and uh, which will help you to talk to your tech team better. Uh, understand uh, the technology, which will reduce your uh, development cycle and everything. Uh, so tech is yes, it is uh, important, but not absolutely important. But good to have things in my scenario. most of the people are coming from a tech background but if somebody is not don't worry uh, there is lot of uh, time to learn about it youtube nowadays gives everything so please every day start reading something keep learning something the day you don't learn you lost that uh, day because what we learn today will be helpful for uh, tomorrow simple so learning is very much important guys and uh, even the every industry uh, is the same but in a way yeah uh, jitendra uh, krishna here yeah. Hi, yeah. sorry to disturb you. Uh, yeah. So I just joined the uh, Jitendra. Sorry, uh, I didn't go through everything, but uh, I, I have uh, one question that uh, see uh, in a journey to product development and product management, see mm-hmm. if the product is complex and uh, varied landscape with mm-hmm. uh, with too many stakeholders. When I say mm-hmm. too many stakeholders, it is like it is uh, you know scattered to uh, pin to plane. so uh, the most important point from a product management what do you think uh, one thing which you know really takes as in terms of you know uh, i am not talking from a ui ux perspective but what the business problem statement how do i address when the landscape is so huge and stakeholders mm-hmm. are so huge and the uh, you know the requirements are varied and all sorts of you know the flavors uh there in that particular product in that particular situation how do you uh, you know what is your view or suggestion or a recommendation to manage the product to address the business problem statement at the same time uh, manage the stakeholders and at the same time managing this landscape of the various systems which are connected to that particular product i thank for asking the question so very important question uh, what i uh, feel uh, in this session is uh, you are talking about like like you mentioned pin to plane so what i understand is the scope of the code must be huge but in that case what we should do is let's understand hey what's the key uh, problem that i am going to address with this product what is the one thing which i want to uh, innovate or the body the one thing which i wanted to give as in a very important or a different thing to my users so that is the first feature which will roll out that will actually make your product uh stand out in the market if it is a uh, very well done yes i understand there could be 100 requirement 100 use cases but pick up those couple of uh, important things which uh everybody feels uh, are important now when i say everybody there could be a multiple stakeholders also so please figure out out of these 100 which are the important thing which i wanted to uh take it now uh consider uh, the engineering efforts uh, will be required how much the engineering efforts the time which will be required and uh, go with that once uh, you launch this product with a good mv uh, once you launch a good mvp uh, then you can understand the user behavior and keep adding uh, different different features to it but basic problem should be taken care of in our case for an example when we started that was not the case but if today if somebody has to start any ticketing app so please focus a hey, what is uh, the mode of transport in india what is the mode of transport uh, which people are using uh, mostly and uh, where is the competition what is uh, the thing which i wanted to sort out is uh, taking a specific feature out uh, will give me uh, my commission or a revenue will able to sustain if i go out in case there is a pressure from a finance also so consider that thing out and uh, give your best and uh, then further you can add and that uh, is how yeah, you have to uh, convince to the yeah, that is how you have to convince to the uh, uh, management people also yeah got, got it jitendra but the main challenge in the product development and product management is uh, Uh, when i'm saying uh, product uh, development and product management 
uh, when i say developing a product product to product it varies right yeah so uh, when when you are building a complex product okay mm-hmm. uh, what the challenge these are all questions which are coming up because of my experience i am telling uh, maybe mm-hmm. you can correct me if i am wrong also the mm-hmm. point mm-hmm. i am saying is that the the uh, the existing product has got yeah uh, all the features existing under the sun but right they wanted to be you know make it more uh, seamless and more uh, you know robust at the same time manage the risk and the uh, fraud so that is where uh, my question is actually uh, first question and uh, okay. as you mentioned that we need to address uh, pick up top things and work on that and give that uh, solution which will address the business problem statement but my point is that the already existing product has got all these things in this situation how do we go for see new product uh, evolution okay so uh, you uh, since, since you already mentioned that you might have already a running product in the market which must be generating some revenue but since you work on that product you know what are the key uh pain points of the user uh there could be 100 things that the user might be looking forward to slash uh, management must be looking forward to provide good solutions but obviously considering the time and a money uh, limitations and a bandwidth limitations uh, we have to pick up the uh, features that will help most of the users uh, pain point and uh, which will help them to give a better or i would say not a better even wow experience to the existing product which will actually uplift experience of the users and it should take a little leap ahead uh, than the competition that is how you should do it and uh, once you have a validation on that uh, then you can go ahead uh, adding the extra feature prioritizing on the same format perfect i got your answer uh, but i have one challenge here uh, i i yeah. got the answer uh, but i on top of it i'm asking sorry i am ask i'm taking your time Uh, i don't know the timeline so uh, no no go ahead go ahead, go ahead. The, uh, so the point here is uh, uh, what is that the current product which used by the user are very very thoroughly understood that product they are aware of uh, nuances of the product because they are working for the last 20 years mm-hmm. okay uh, so then uh, uh, after that they would expect you know that with the um, new product whatever they have experienced for these 20 years they want to come up with the um, i can say that enhanced version of the 20 years so the people okay. who are working on that particular project are you know are also equally experienced guys but they may not be visualized from a user perspective what i'm trying to say is that from a product perspective how do we take it ahead so 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 like i i think you went a little late as i mentioned earlier as a product guy please understand your user in detail put yourself into user shoes and understand hey, if in our case let's say for an example if i have to book a bus ticket i will go to the aviva app and i'll to i'll try to book a bus ticket as a user and uh, i'll try to see whether i myself is convinced with the entire flow or not that could be a case that i might not be convinced uh with the 10 things which are already there in the flow but changing all those 10 things at a single point of time is possible the answer is no because it is going to take hell lot of time and uh, uh we might have uh, limitations in terms of a budget and time and everything uh, so i would suggest don't look at all those 10 things in single shot pick up uh, look at the analytics have a funnel understand what are the main pain points where your funnel is not performing well just go ahead work on those points give a release look at the difference talk to users do small surveys at a lean time lean time is the time where your most of the users are not using the app it will vary app to app uh, domain to domain and take a feedback and take the corrective actions on that thing parallelly you already have a list of those 10 things to do based on the prioritization pick up the next item and start working on it that is only way to go ahead one should not stop to go ahead and develop all 10 uh, things together no that is uh, not the right way in my view thank you jitendra yeah yeah i 
i think uh, we're done uh, with the time 754 uh, so any last questions or uh, are we guys done so does anyone have any questions because the time is up so we yeah. only accept one question if anyone have please ask if not i'm gonna i'm gonna close this webinar So, Mr. Jitendra, I have a question yeah. for you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is Subramanya again. See, whenever yeah. I see the products which are available in the market, I can see uh, there are there may be a lot of features which will be available, but people will not be using all the features. Okay. So, let's say for example, if I if I see my competitor, I can see that. Uh, there are hell lot of uh, features that that particular uh, product has given but people are not using so mm -hmm. in my product let's say for example now i'm going into the market newly so in that case okay. whether i consider this mvp again yes uh, as you mentioned that you are going to launch a new product in the market yes look at mm -hmm. the mvp like i mentioned earlier also your competition okay. might be in the market from a longer time so they might mm -hmm. have host number of features since you know out of these 10 features these are two critical features which my user which my prospective users are using at my competition and ideally you as a product manager would like to have all those users migrated to your app so please focus on those key uh, things key uh, features that we wanted to you want to develop and uh, give user a better experience that better experience could be by tweaking the flow by giving the better ui look at the cred for an example cred ui is wow everybody is now trying to go ahead and uh, copy the cred uh, ui side So that's one of the cool thing what uh, people are like it. The other example is the Google Pay. How did they got the user? They started giving the money. Uh, you do the transaction, transfer the money. People, it actually taken the market. I distinctly remember when they started giving the money in a pay. People in my office used to come uh, to me and say, "Take a number. I'll send you the money because I'm going to get the cash." So these are the innovations. That is what we got it. Only there was a. other products in the market but people have switched to google pay because uh, yes they were uh, rewarding user by giving the cash so that's one of the way but ultimate the use of the product was to transfer money from user a to user b to get the users on the gp this people have got a nice uh, strategy even in case of uh, uber if you have to look at they actually the uh, very viral program saying that hey, get your first ride free that was the thing when user actually went ahead and uh, hooked on to the uber So same is the loyalty program with a coffee cafe day. It's also fantastic uh, one. Everybody knows that's the best in the world. So just to summarize, please go ahead understand what are the two features that you think which are absolutely important uh, in your upcoming product, which uh, you can understand by looking at your competition product, which is already in the market. Uh, post that, try to give a better experience to the user around those uh, features, and if we have a time, build something good to have feature and simply launch it. Once you launch it, please don't leave it. Have the analytics in place. Close, uh, lo closely look at your funnel and uh, take the corrective actions if required. Or happily go ahead and launch uh, or to take up the new feature. That is uh, yeah. way to go ahead. Yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. Cool, cool. Uh, I think the time is also running up, guys. So I think uh, I was able to answer all your questions. Hope uh, this uh, session was useful uh, to you guys. Uh, That's all from my end. Uh, thanks for uh, having me uh, here, guys. Uh, take care, and guess if you need any help, please uh, reach out to me. All right. Thank you very much. Take Thank care. you, Jitendra. Thank, Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jitendra, for sharing yeah. the main takeaways. And I, I'm pretty sure a lot of them are very helpful to both plan our career as a product manager and to gain our insights on product management. So here is the end of our session, and uh, I think someone has asked me for recordings. No worry, I have already recorded, and uh, I will post it in on our Facebook page, and I will send a notification to the WhatsApp group. So if you haven't joined the WhatsApp group, I have already posted the link uh, to the chat box. So please join, and we will share. about this session and the other app comments